All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to take two of this critical game three here in this best of three series in the loser's bracket here on NA between no cap and ELSR. Spawning into the top end of Warrior's Path, we're looking at no cap fielding only a two destroyer lineup. We caught a brief glimpse of this earlier. That's Agro's Daring here with a very traditional kind of gun heavy build and bank accounts gearing headed over here to the west with basically heavy on the torpedoes and the smoke. Now, mm -hmm. no cap doing something that we've not seen yet this event, Zath, from basically anybody that I can think of triple Stalingrad. So we're looking at... You're not sure what to do. You just add Stalin, uh, right? Apparently, you just take more Russian steel, Zath. So we're taking microaggressions as Stalin here with range and top-grade gunner. One-for-ones gaming's Stalingrad with reload and top-grade mm -hmm. gunner. Behind him, Mr. Bean Stalingrad, also with range and top-grade gunner. Now, Bean opting for the AP shell skill. One-for-one skipping out on that. And let's have a quick look at microaggressions. He has it as well. So... One for one Stalin build is definitely the oddball out of the three. Mm -hmm. um, Lothair's Minotaur headed over towards the uh, western, yeah, excuse me, eastern flank here with bank account. Important to note, Zath, this is a smoke Minotaur, not a radar Minotaur. So they're really going to be relying on uh, one for one Stalin, it looks like. Pitbull's St. Vincent headed that direction. Uh, gun reload and a little bit of survival, just a touch of survivability on the high end with fire prevention and the extra heal. And then hanging towards mid here, Burger King's Vermont, as you like to say, well, that's actually not a quick scope build because he doesn't have the turret no. traverse. But he yeah, does, but, a sniper. He, but he does have all of the American plotting room modifications. And the one lone ship all by himself, Apetron San Martin, headed over here north of A. Zath, talk to me about the LSR lineup. All right, ELSR going quickly with a Marceau. That's Quincy going into the A cap. It's about to grab it. Check a look at his build, Raptor. He's got Dazzle. Going with the Razzle Dazzle. A little bit of Razzle Dazzle, Zach. That's right. Behind him is the Sky Cancer. That's uh, Harugamo 420. No. No. He does not have the unique upgrade. He He's does doing not. The regular concealment upgrade. Interesting. There's a, behind him, there's a Manitar. I'd have to double check after that smoke one now. Indeed. Like, uh, you know, which one's which. Um, and then we've got uh, Moskva down here. That's unique upgrade. Uh, leaning into the radar there. Uh, and that's it for ELSR. They're going to get the early cap, and then they're going to hold, is my guess is the way they're deploying. Uh, they've got uh, both battleships heading towards the seaside. Vermont, that's Apex, Ooh. Captain Caesar, in uh, uh, Sniper Bill with Rudder Shift, uh, Vermont, and then E8952's Ohio with the Sniper Build. Uh, Okura is in a Salem, that's a uh, radar Salem, uh, with reload build. Professor Luger in a Yu Yang. There's that Yu Yang again with radar. And finally, Ayase is in a Clay Bear with reload. Band ships, Des Moines, and Ragnar as they capture Sea Cap as well. Yep. We're, we're already seeing LSR basically flex a strategy that worked for them last game, right? French destroyers rush the corners, hold the flank caps, ignore the middle of the map. And I'm mm -hmm. a little surprised we're not seeing the daring here. Uh, that's aggro. Just dive aggro. the B cap, grab it, and get out. Yeah. Uh, very interesting that he's being so cautious, especially after, again, those first two caps kind of telegraph. All right, they got two fast destroyers. All right, they went out to the flanks. I think Pitbull's about to really hate his life, Zath. Not he only are... torpedoes. Well, both battleships are on top of him. Now, he's managed to find a gap... Right between yep. the first salvo. Second salvo is coming in on his port side. I don't... He may even have a gap over there, depending on how he cons his ship. I think it's likely he'll take at least one of those. Well, the last deep water's actually fizzled before they got close. Lothair's Minotaur radared back there in smoke from Luger's Yu Yang, trying to find a way through it. Manages. Pitbull does take two deep waters. Okay. And very, very quickly... Just not even five minutes gone, and of course, no cap already down 200 points. Having just suffered through this strategy, Zath, you want to, you would think that maybe they'd come sort of, kind of, you know, ready to deal with it, but it, it right now, it doesn't feel that way, does it? No, it doesn't. I mean, the Stalingrads, I understand the idea behind them. You know, you got your 12 kilometer radar, punchy, punchy guns. It, it's kind of like a mini battleship anywhere you want to put it. 
So you get a lot of flexibility, a lot of cross shot opportunities. And once again, no cap is setting up for a BC heavy part of this map with the San Martin all by itself and already being chased by the way, by the Gumo and Minotaur. Um, so I, I'm not quite sure what the decision is. If you look, the Vermont and St. Vincent are already kind of noping out of sea. Yeah. So, um, yeah. I where mean, you, where are you going, fellas? I don't know. <laughs> you know? By, the, by the time they cap B, they're going to be 300 points down. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, you've got, you've got a significant health advantage. You, well, let me back that up. You came into the game with a significant yeah. health advantage by virtue of the fact that you brought fewer destroyers and a whole pile of Stalingrads. And yet Mr. Bean and microaggressions right now content to just camp the middle of the board. I kind of hate this because it feels like you're wasting a lot of that potential. Now they are pushing one for one into the sea cap, but they're doing it where he, the Vermont's got south, got shells on him. Mm -hmm. Fortunately for him, be careful with that. Fortunately for him, nothing doing. Yep. Don't worry. Captain Caesar's reloading. <laughs> Keep sailing. My but, guns are reloading. Exactly. I, I we, we haven't had a chance to talk either about no caps Minotaur Raptor. Why would you take a smoke Minotaur I, in competitive like this? It, it, it feels like know. a mistake. It feels like a mistake. Okay. I think I, I, I personally think that they, that they he low there for whatever reason, I don't know. I can't think of why you would do it unless you just really wanted the smoke extra. Um, or you were bringing two Stalingrads to this flank and you were going to rely on that radar and you felt you didn't need the Minotaur radar. But they didn't do that, mm -hmm. right? You've got the two, mm -hmm. of the two of the Stalingrads are deployed towards mid, not, not you know, one, you know, two over here, for example, to go with one, uh, one for ones. Yep, Birkin going down the seven line. You know, I, I, to me, it, it's like... All right, well, if it's a mistake, then rotate the, the Minotaur to go with the San Martin on the kite side. Luger, Luger's Yu Yang radar going up, able to get a reset on one for one Stalingrad with his stern turrets yes. at the last possible second on mm -hmm. the C cap. Radar not catching Lothair. They're sending she blind fire shells into this smoke anyway. A little high, nothing doing. But they can see one for one now. The Kleber and the Yang starting to work on farming him down. But probably... Probably not... It's only two ships. I don't feel like they're going to have the power to do that. I don't know. Maybe they will. One for one's about to... He's trying to... Okay, he's dark again finally in there. They're bringing, yeah. they're bringing bank accounts gearing in to help him out. He's moving out of the cap. Right, right. That makes sense. Um, Quincy now spotted, going to be shot out a bit. Oh, no. Apetron going down oh. over here along the one line. I just turned back to have a peek, and he, yeah. taught, he caught two torpedoes from the Minotaur. Yikes. Just like that, it's a, basically a 400-point lead for ELSR here in Game 3, and we're not even to the 10-minute mark yet. Right. All right, so now they're getting even more shells on one for one. They brought the Marceau over to help mm -hmm. try and farm him out. That's how you get rid of him. You either burn him out or you citadel him out well, with they're, broadsides. They're pushing him out now, and now they realize that there's somebody else is in there with that cap, and it's not going to come in time. Nobody's mm -hmm. going to have radar to find bank account before they flip the cap, and there it is. Yep. But now there are five ELSR ships lurking on the bottom end of the sea cap. Big rumble shaping up over here, Zaf. I want to know what Burger King's going to do with this Vermont. He's made it through the, the seven-line push completely unscathed at this point, really. He's spotted now. Izumi's going to start shooting at him. They shoved the Vermont right through the middle of the board. Yeah. Look at that. So I, I have a feeling they're trying to get him to go up on the rear of Akura's Salem. They sh he should be able to survive long enough to make that to make that salvo. Yes, and if you could shoot him right through that rear section, um, you know, set it us for days, all that good stuff. Eighty nine fifty two taking an Ohio salvo now, and they're realizing that they've got to do something about this Vermont threat as it's kind of sort of getting into their backfield. Yep, slowly but surely. At the moment, they don't have eyes on Okura. They're going to have to burn a radar for Burger King to even get a shot. 
45 seconds for that radar to come back. They're moving Mr. Bean's Stalingrad up now as well. Finally, the Stalingrads start to feel like they're making a bit of an impact on this game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, both Stalingrads moving together, though, feels kind of odd. Here it, comes a shot here from Burger King. Here comes the shot. That looks like pretty good from here. Yep. 20K. Right mm -hmm. through Akura's stern. So... If you're Akura, do you sit there and take the next salvo? That will he, probably end he, your life. He has to. He, what gives he? If he turns out and tries to run, it's just going to make him easier to kill. At least Same if Vincent. he. At least if he stays narrow, he has again a possibility, a little bit of RNG possibility to live through it. Okay. Well, his gun should be just about reloaded. Let's uh, watch. Yep. Let's pop the heel. <laughs> Salem is his help. Akura is now as healthy as he's going to get. Bow turrets. There they go. Sequentially now. Mm -hmm. Big. I like that. Big hits. Big hits. There big hits. Is. There it is. Oh, they needed that kill. They get it, but they lose the daring lose way aggro. over. Yep, they lose the daring back here in smoke. Back up along the four line. That wasn't even Minotaur. Even radar. He just used his guns to kill. Bit him. of a pyrrhic victory is now. ELSR is going to focus out Burger King. I like this play, Zath, but I almost feel like what they needed to do was bring him around the island, take the one salvo, and immediately start to turn him north so he could get back into cover, right? Mm -hmm. And so now, even on one cap, we're 90 seconds here from an ELSR win because they own the A cap, and there is zero chance of no cap making an impact over there anytime soon. Yeah, I just, I just don't see it coming. No cap steps onto the C cap. And now, that the lack of the Minotaur radar definitely felt over here. Lothair lit with no way to spot, and Ohio shells coming in. <laughs> he threads the needle on the Ohio shells. He's got torpedoes coming in on his starboard side. He has to turn to deal with the torpedoes. Manages it. Threads the needle again. 60 seconds for mini LSR win here. Captain Caesar's done a nice job of living. Yeah, of staying <laughs> in the game, the precisely. Part of Vermont there. Now, they're trying to farm out both Quincy or, and or Ayase at the same time. They've lost sight of Ayase's Kleber as he runs south. Mm -hmm. They can... They can just oh, gets smacked. That's the, it. The Ohio Salvo does him in, and that's the game. Man. The LSR with a reverse sweep of their own here in the loser's bracket. They're moving up to play Resin Zaf. Yeah, you know... I'm I'm sure when we you know the the analyst desk is want to talk a little bit about this too about the decision to take that radar, you know if it's a mistake hey it happens, uh, but but change up your your strategy uh, to, to find a way to utilize that asset if if that's the case, um, but uh, otherwise hey you know what it, it was a really fantastic battle by ELSR, uh, we got to see no cap uh, for three games so that was cool too absolutely. Let's send it back to the desk and move on. All right, guys, we'll see you for the next series just in just a few minutes.